Yeah, I see a house full, baby. I see a, I see a house full. All, all sickness is, uh, is not under death. Some sickness, some sickness is to tear your butt up. Yeah, some sickness to get your tail straight. Yeah, some sickness is to let you see some things that you had been seeing that you need to see. Yeah, some sickness is not for the cold to work on you. Some sickness is for him to work on you. Yeah, that's the kind of sickness that... Uh, that I had. Yeah, have mercy, Lord. And I tell you what, I'm all the better. Yeah, I'm all the better because of it. It's good to be sick. Yeah, when you get the right medicine. Yeah, yeah. And I, I, I ain't talking about no mucinix. No, I, I'm talking about the master. Yeah, yeah, you need to, yeah, I'm talking about his spirit. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, amen. Been some, been some good, good medicine. And I sure enough thank him for it, amen. Amen. Let me, let me give you what he gave me right quick. St. Mark, St. Mark chapter, uh, Chapter five. You do know uh, some of the young folk don't know about animals, but you do know what a what a cow eat. He just don't just swallow it. He yeah he what they call he chew the cud. Yeah he switch it around. Yeah, great many time before he digest it. Amen. So I've been uh, I've been with the cow, been with the cows this week. Amen. Saint Mark chapter five, uh, verses one through twenty-four, and then we'll switch to uh, thirty-five through forty. Uh, after Jesus crossed over by boat a large crowd met him at the seaside. And some folk, because they have great needs, they will walk around even when you ride across. One of the meeting place leaders named Jairus came and, and when he uh, so Jesus, he did not greet him, hey dude, hey buddy, uh, hey man, what's, what's, what's going on? The Bible says he fell to his knees. Uh, the Matthew account of this particular says that he bowed down uh, before Jesus and referenced him. Besides himself, as he begged, uh, my daughter uh, is at death's door. Yeah, sometimes we think too much. Sometimes we come to conclusions that not even on the Lord's table. Yeah, we just need to treat things like they are and let God decide what they are. Come and, and lay hands on her, and she will get well, and uh, she will live. Yeah, that's what uh, a religious man said. This wasn't even a Christian, but he believed that if God would come lay his hands on her, that, that she would get well, and she would live. Uh, Jesus went with him and the whole crowd tagging along, pushing and jostling him. Uh, verse 35. 
uh, while he was yet talking, uh, somebody else who ain't had no business talking started talking. Yes. Came from his house and, you know, sometimes it'd be better if some of the folk you left, if they just stayed where you left them. Yeah. Rather than getting in the way, coming where you at. Yeah. yeah, bringing something that they don't even know what they're talking about. Yeah. Trying to damper your spirit. He they, here he come with his onion head said, saying, your, your daughter uh, is dead. You know, now look like he was glad about it because I want to let you know that some folk with you, uh, yeah, ain't necessarily with you. Yeah, he said, yo, uh, yeah, uh-huh, uh, you all of that, but your daughter dead. Yeah, sometimes you got to know how to read into the text. Uh, he said, why, why, if your daughter did, uh, why don't you bring your tail on and let's go on back uh, to the house and finish doing what we was doing. Ain't no need of you bother the teacher no more because uh, this is a done deal. Uh, she did, it's over, wipe the tears from your eyes, be strong, get up in the Lord, and come on, let's do what we need to do. Well, Jesus... Uh, you know, a lot of times Jesus listening and we don't think he is, but yeah, yeah. Evidently, he didn't say it loud, but Jesus heard him. Yeah, you ain't got to talk loud for Jesus to hear you. Yeah, he could just hear you at a whisper. Yeah, Jesus heard him and what they, what they were talking about. And he didn't even address the man yeah, that brought the message. He just the man that came that needed help. Yeah, he addressed him. He said, look, uh, don't, 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 pff, forget about that. He said, trust, trust me. Yeah, don't, don't worry about what's going on here, there, and the other. You just trust me. Yeah, you just, you just trust me. And, and, and he permitted, he permitted no one to go in with him. Yeah, but Peter, James, and John. Yeah, he didn't include some folk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He extracted some folk and say, uh, y'all not gonna be a part of this. Yeah, it's gonna be a testimony, but you ain't gonna be able to testify because you ain't got the right spirit. Yeah, to be able to be handling what finna, what's finna go down right here. Yeah, it's some stuff. Good boogly woogly. It's some stuff finna go on this morning. Yeah, have mercy, Lord. And then he ended, he ended the leader's house and, and pushed their way through the gossipers looking for a story. Yeah, and neighbors hanging around there with some casserole. Yeah, they, 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 they trying to hear this man trying to get to Christ and they trying to push casserole. Yeah, have mercy, Lord. We got to understand that God, this, we in the, we in the situation room. Amen. I just want to talk about the situation room. The situation room. Thank the ushers for that faithfulness. Wolf, Wolf Blitzer uh, is one of the well-known personalities on CNN, cable news network, when they have breaking news about uh, the different things that go on, the most stories that are being talked about. Uh, I just thought I'd bring you to the situation room. Yeah, this the situation Room, yeah, but this is Iconium Bible Broadcasting Network uh, where we get ready to tell you the exciting story, the breaking news on uh, what's about to go on uh, this morning. Yeah, Jarius daughter, we've got the news that Jarius daughter is, is sick and somebody said that she is at the point of death. Well, what, what, what Jarius does not do, he does not take her to one of the leading medical facilities that there was. He does not fly her 
to a trauma center because she's dead. But, but Jairus does something different. He goes looking uh, for a man. Yeah, and uh, a man from Galilee. Uh, uh, they said that if you are sick, yeah, yeah, he's able to hear you. So Jairus goes looking for this man. Why? Why would he go to Galilee looking for? Why this geographical area, this confined? Because Galilee, because Jesus was known in doing some things at Galilee. Yeah, he was known in the geographical confines of Galilee, but in the region called Caponia, that's where Jesus was known to do what he needed to get done. I, I need to tell you this morning that any time that you need something done, the first thing you ought to do, you ought to find a point of reference where to go get it so you can get done what needs to get done. Yeah, and whatever it is, sometimes we need stuff to get done, but we go to the wrong place. And we don't go to the right place to get what we need to get. There ought to be a point of reference that wherever you go, whatever needs to get done, you need to know that if I get there, I can get it done. Yeah, yeah, you, you understand that there are some people, sometimes we go to some people, but people can't help us. But Jairus was not like that. He just didn't go see anybody. He went to a place where he knew when he met the person that he needed to meet, that was his point of reference, he knew he'd get her done. Yeah, and see, that, that, that's, that's the reason. It's not that we can't get her done. It's that we go to the wrong place or we solicit the wrong people. Yeah, but Jairus says, I'm finna go... Uh, I'm finna go get her done. What, what, wouldn't that, isn't that a shame that the first thing that Jairus does, he realizes that God's power is more prevalent than his presence. I want you to chew that just a little while. God's power is more prevalent than his presence. His baby girl is at the point of death. Well, you only know the point of death by grabbing some symptoms. And symptoms usually point us in directions that faith will not. And so sometimes we're so busy calculating the symptoms, we ain't believing in the Savior. What, what Jairus does, he leaves, watch this now, he, he leaves his baby girl, his only girl, he leaves her sick. I need you to chew that just a little while. He, he, he leaves his Baby, girl. what, 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 what if, what if, what if the word would get out? What kind of daddy is he that, that he would leave his baby girl? Yeah, as a matter of fact, his only daughter, that he would leave her and go all the way to Galilee. Yeah, hooding and looking and crooking, looking in, in Caponia, uh, trying to find uh, a man uh, called Jesus. And here she is, sick. Yeah, all the other folk ain't there. Yeah, but, but he done left. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about the daddy. You know, he done left his baby girl there Sick. But see, sometimes you've got to understand some folk don't do stuff by reasoning. Some folk do stuff by belief. And you, you wouldn't leave no baby girl there sick if you knew you wasn't going somewhere to a place where you would meet a man that would get her done. You got to understand that your, 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 your presence is not important. 
Yeah, when God fits in the equation, you ain't got to be there. The question is, if you there, what you going to do? You ain't going to do it, just sit there and look and listen to other stories. You can't do nothing. You can't heal nobody. You can't treat nobody. You ain't got no medicine. What you going to do? At least get to a place. Have mercy, Lord. Get, get to a place and get to somebody that can do what you can't do because your presence ain't going to work. She's sick. She, she, she's sick. She's sick. She said, yeah, yeah. She said, well, where you at? <laughs> well, I ain't going to make it, Pastor. <laughs> Why you ain't going to make it? I ain't going to make it because mama, mama's sick. Okay. Okay, you ain't going to make it because mama's sick. I, I, I understand that you can't come because we finna have church and we finna have Bible. I understand you can't come because your presence is more, is more prevalent than the power of God. Yeah, I understand your brother done had a wreck. I understand that he was in a tragic accident, but and I ain't going to be at church this morning. Why? Because my presence, have mercy of the Lord, is more, is more, more powerful than, than God's power. Yeah, I, I, got to, I got to be there. Well, why, why you got to be there? Because the doctor may come in the room no, 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 no. Don't worry about the doctor coming to the room. Go to where the doctor's house is. If you get to the doctor's house, he don't even have to go to the room. He can just speak the word from where he at. Have mercy, Lord. You don't, you don't, you don't, you, you understand, Pastor. Yeah, this is my, this my mama, sister. This the only one that's left in the family. And when she leave her, she ain't got, I, I understand. See, you don't understand what I understand. What I understand is, if I was you, I'd be at the house where Jesus said, rather than being where the person is, because what I'm going to do when I'm there, I don't need no medicine. I don't need no prognosis. I don't need no diagnosis. I need Jesus. That, that's who I need. And if I got Jesus, I got everything that I need. But you got to understand how folk are. Don't you, don't you leave your situation, don't you leave your, don't you leave your kingdom. You better hear up and get there because they're going to talk about you. If you ain't there, when you ought to be there, and it's sad that, that they died and, and, and her daughter wasn't even there. Well, the reason daughter wasn't there, daughter had more faith in the power of God Daughter was somewhere on their knees. Daughter was praying and seeking God. And you sitting there can't do nothing. With some casserole, there's some fruit and some juice. Oh, yeah. I say deliverance time. God say, we got to crank it up a notch, baby. We got to know that God's presence is more important. I left the house this morning. Stayed up all night long. Called downstairs. I said, Mama, you up? She said, yeah, I'm up. I said, all right, you know I got to leave here. She said, well, you know, I can't go nowhere. I got this foot. I said, all right. The devil say, this is what you ought to tell her. You ought to tell her she go everywhere else with the foot. She go to the doctor with the foot. She dragged the foot here, and she dragged the foot there. Come on and go with me. I ain't say nothing. 
but I thought about something. I ain't stand here babysitting your foot or whatever else you got going on. I'm going to the house of the Lord because I know somebody that can heal that foot, that can work on that foot, that can deliver that foot. Ah, yeah. I know somebody. I know somebody. I know somebody. If God can't keep her, an hour and a half or two hours till I finish praising my God and worshiping my God, she need to be gone. If God can't keep her, if God can't hold her, if God can't treat her, what I'm gonna do? Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Oh, this like cast off for some of us. I say this is a situation room. Watch this. The sick. He gone. He in Caponia. He done found Jesus. Now he is talking to Jesus. Yeah. He talking to Jesus. See, you, you, you got to put somebody in the, in the, in the situation room. Christina in Sydney. Sick. Andre ain't gonna go to Jesus. To my, hey man, what's happening? What you doing today? Uh, you you busy? Uh, well, if you ain't doing nothing later on, I need you to, you know, come by the house. Got a little some, uh, you know, just. Take 69, 105, and then come up, you know, back up. Major drive. Need you to come holler at one of these, you know, girl kind of, kind of sick here. Yeah. But any, any daddy got a daughter, the first thing he's going to do, the sickness ain't going to break you. The love going to break you. And when you get there, ain't no need of talking. Just fall on your knees and tell Jesus, I need you to come see about me. That's what's wrong with some of us. We're too proud. You better learn how to fall on your knees and bow down and tell Jesus, I need you. Right now, is there anybody here that needs the Lord that are calling? Say, Jesus, I need you right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Wait a minute. See, first thing you got to do is learn how to tune other folk out, and let other folk and don't listen to that other riffraff because you don't need no distractions when you're facing the deliverer. You need to get all distractions out the way. I don't want to hear nothing about what such and such a had and what happened. I ain't none of them. 
I'm God's child. I got my own relationship. It might get work for them, but if I believe, <coughs> I say if I believe, look what Jarius did. He bowed. He believed. Oh, shucks, y'all. Fool around and God bless. This ain't nothing heavy. We try to make this stuff heavy. No, 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 no. Oh, shoot, I, I got dog it up in here. I, oh, Jesus, I know, I know the devil didn't want me here this morning. That's why he tried to tie me up, but he's alive and the truth. I'm here, if you want some deliverance, if you want to break through, if you want God to do something for you, he said three simple things. Bow, believe, and get blessed. <laughs> they used to sing a whole hymn by, if you want the Lord to bless you, you got to bow down. That's a whole, that's a lot of folk bowing, but they ain't believing. Ain't no need to bow it if you ain't gonna believe. When you buy, you got to believe. And if you believe, God will bless you. Because you believe what you done buy for. That God is able. If you don't believe he's able, get up and go on about your business. If you don't believe he can turn it around, get up. And go on about your business. If you don't believe you can fix it, get up and go on about your business. Say yeah! Say yeah! <laughs> Listen. <clears throat> Listen. He come. Your daughter, your daughter is dead. Three things. Number one, he had, he had the wrong message. Number two, he had the wrong message. And number three, he had the wrong mouth. He came there messed up. We listened to a whole bunch of folk. They all messed up. And we listen to them. Because they got the wrong message. They bringing the wrong message. And it's coming out the wrong mouth. Number one, when he came there, he came because he was a messenger of doubt. He had a message of unbelief. And he had the wrong spirit. I'm trying to help somebody. Listen what he, listen what he did. He said, okay, okay. This is where we make our mistake. I got a, I got a problem. We don't want to hurt nobody's feelings. But what I'm in the, Situation room, I ain't giving a darn about nobody's feelings. I need to get something done. I need to get it done. Okay, okay, I'm in a situation. Come on, come on. All y'all over here, come on. Come on, all y'all. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. See, because you, you got to, you got to under, understand that 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 everybody ain't equipped for the situation wrong. But no, see, if I have all them to come, then them gonna feel bad because I didn't invite them, and that's gonna put a bad spirit. Uh, all all y'all come on. Come on, come on in there. Come on in there. Come on in the situation room. I need, I, I, I need all y'all in the, 
in the, in the situation room. Here, 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 all y'all in the, in the, in the situation room. All y'all know what's, what's going on. All, all, all y'all know I got a daughter. It's all over town that, that everybody know that I got a, that daughter that's sick and, and she about to die. But the only thing about it is, is that I wish I could, but I can't take some of y'all because some of y'all ain't got the right spirit. Some of y'all don't have the right belief. Some of y'all don't have the right faith. Some of y'all just bowing, but you ain't believing. So what I got to do to get this miracle done, I got to forget about folk feeling, and I got to pick certain folk out that's got the right spirit, that's got the right doubting, that's got the right belief, and say, come on and go with me. We going in here and get some done. That's the problem. God didn't extend his situation to everybody. He got rid of some folk so he could get some done and he just, yeah, that's what God did. Oh, mercy for God. He excluded some folk because they were going to mess up the blessing. come to tell you there's a whole lot of folk that you went to the hospital to pray for the reason didn't then happen because you had some of the wrong knuckleheads in the room and you didn't want to hurt they feeling because that's that's cousin Jerry on, on mama's side if he ain't got the right faith if he ain't got the right belief if he ain't got the right to tell him I don't mean no harm but you got to get out of here because I'm trying to get a breakthrough from God you can't include everybody this ain't for everybody this for those that believe. This for those who pray. This for those who fast. This for those who labor for God. It ain't for everybody. Now, if I pick three and I tell three to come on and go with me, Come here. Come here. Nah. I don't know. I don't know why he had to get them. And all of, all of us is in here. And you know, I'm kin to him. Because ain't nobody closer to them than I'm, that I'm kin to him. And he's going to leave me out there and take it. He ain't, he ain't close to dad in no kind of way. He ain't got nothing to do. But I'm going to take them. What I care if, look here, if I pray and my daughter get up off the bed, yeah. what do I care? about them being mad, about them being jealous. I'm trying to get a breakthrough from God. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Some of us don't even know, some of us don't, don't even know scripture. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come on, Aunt Jenny, come here, come here, come here, come here. She said, how good she come? Come on, 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 come on. You might get candy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come here, come here, girl, come here, come here, come here, girl. Look at her. Look at who he got. Now, we've been, we been coming to prayer meeting for 40 years. And, and he go get them little old, little old children and, and take them children up there to pray. Well, them children ain't got no hell in them. Them children ain't got all that mess they've been holding for 40 years. Them children ain't mad at nobody or don't like nobody. He said, out the mouth of babes and suckling have I ordained strength. Do 
they know Barney? Do they know SpongeBob? Do they know? They can know Jesus if we teach them how to fast and pray and seek God. Well, I tell you, I tell you what I'm going to do. I don't want to make no body mad, but they ain't God trying to tell you, leave them alone because they ain't available. And when you call them, they got a whole bunch of shoes. Well, I would. Thank you. Stay where you are because I need somebody. Right now. Listen. Everybody with you don't want to see you blessed. Everybody with you don't want to see you get delivered. Everybody with you don't want you to get a breakthrough. Everybody with you don't want you to have God to have favor with you. You got to get rid of some folk that you think with you and they ain't with you. I need you. You. Whoever you is, I ain't putting no name to it. You put your name to it. If you're looking for a miracle, <coughs> if you're looking for a blessing, if you're looking for deliverance, I need you to bow. I say bow. Now don't 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 bow because everybody else bow because everybody not in this situation room. And tell God, I know you can tear it. I know you ain't never late. But I need you to come right now. I don't need you next week or next month. I need you now. And God say, don't worry about what's going on, what's been going on. Leave that mess alone. Just trust me. And know I'm going to do it then. No, I'm going to fix it and no, I'm going to bring you out and no, I'm going to deliver you and no, I'm going to give you a breakthrough and no, I'm going to work it out on your behalf. Now, if you, it's all right to bow, but if you don't believe, I'm actually to get up and go on about your business. It's all right to bow, but, but bowing, there's something between bowing and bless that's called belief. You've got to believe that he will do what he said he'll do. You got to know, ain't no, ain't no sickness can stop him. You, you got to know, ain't no circumstance can break him. You got to know that not only is he God, but he got all power. He got all power in his hand. Now there's a whole lot of things he can do, but one thing he can't do, he can't fail. <laughs> Have mercy, Lord. Good boogly woogly. Mess 
ഇല്ലല്ലോ I want you to stand before the I want you to stand. I don't want you to stand before this room. I don't want you to stand before this pulpit. I don't want you to stand before this preacher. I want you to stand in the presence of God. Come on, stand right now. Stand in the presence of God. Believe it. that God is able. Listen, let me, let me let you in on a secret. There ain't no secret what God I do for you. Watch this. See, God ain't where, you know, they got some stuff you use the can one time and you can't use it no more. No, no, that, that ain't God. Whatever he's done for others, he'll do for you. Now watch this. This is what the devil do. We, we stand before God. And the first thing we do is start grading our papers. I, I, I did this and, and I, 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 I did that and, and, and I done this and I know I didn't have no bit and I done this just the other day and I know. He says, he'll stand wide, his arms wide open. And he stands there to forgive you, to pardon you to erase whatever's in your pan, to give you a new lease on life. That your dead situation will become a reliving reality. Listen, listen. Listen, did, did you see what Greg did? Look, look how fast God operated. Greg, Greg tried to give me a brand new white handkerchief. Give it to me, Greg. No, I, I, I ain't worried that, you know, I had a cold last week and I don't want to mess up that, 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 that rag you got in your hand. Now, no, I got to see myself as worthy. When God brings you something, I got to give it here and let me have it. Let it do. Let me put it on me to do what it need to do because if God brought it to me, I'm worthy for to be anything God needed to be. Tell somebody like you used to be on the program, uh-huh, uh-huh, I'm worthy, uh-huh, uh-huh, yes I am, I'm worthy. Uh -huh. You might not, but I am, I I'm worthy. God thought enough of me. That's why he kept me for this day. That's why he brought me to this place because I'm worthy for all God got for me. And when you in the situation room know that God's power is more prevalent than your presence what you going what you going to do you got to hurry up and get to the hospital if you don't hurry up and get here they going to die then I go driving 200 miles an hour tan up the car kill other folk what I'm going to do when I get there I got to trust that his power is more prevalent than my presence. So I ain't jumping in no car, driving no 200 miles an hour to try to get to no situation or fix no circumstance. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy. And 
I'm going to bow because the person that I'm bowing to, he's able to do whatever I need to have done. When Jesus looked up and, and saw, listen, listen, let me do one more thing. What is this? This water, is this a, this, this a live plant? Well, I'm going to pour it in here anyway. I need a drink of water. Now this bottle don't have to be full for me to get a drink. It just need to be some water in the bottle. You ain't got to have no faith of Abraham. And you ain't got to have no faith that I... He didn't say how much you got to have. Just make sure you got some. You just got to show God you got some for him to work with. If, if you have faith as a mustard seed, this bottle ain't got to be full for me to get a drink. It quits my thirst and it ain't full. Where you got the head of faith, of, which that's a lie. How much faith you got? You it didn't say how much you got to have. You just had to have some. A few months ago, when I was taking my my blood sugar, they didn't ask me for a pint. They just said just dab a little bit on the stem. You quit letting folk fool you that don't know the Bible, that don't know the word. I wish I would catch you sending some money for a prayer cloth or for some oil. I wish I would catch you. I'd put you out of here. If you got faith as a mustard seed, you can say to the mountain, be thou removed. I ain't letting that baby go. You ain't got to be big as a watermelon for me to believe. I believe that it ain't nothing there. I believe it ain't no kick and I still believe. Ain't enough room in here. How many, how many diabetics we got in here? How many we got in here? Lift, lift your hand up like you ain't, like you scared that you had diabetic. You got diabetic. Okay. How many we had in here? Yeah, how many diabetics we had in here? Oh, you still got it. Okay. You still got it. You can't. You can't, you can't get the healing until you bleed the healing. The blind man say, Jesus, you can, you can help me if you will. He said, no, it ain't, I know what I can do. This ain't based on me. This based on you. I got all the healing in the world, but ain't none of them going to happen. You don't believe it. 
they bought four men and couldn't even walk. They got that in the crowd. They couldn't get them there. These were some. I believe these, these, these four men that carried that man on the bed, I believe they slipped out of church early at Iconia. Because when they got there, they didn't, they didn't just say, well, it's crowded. Let's go. On. I, I ain't finna pack his big butt back home. I done packed him all the way down here. And since I got him here where he needed to be here, we might as well make it happen, make it happen. It's easy to, to tear up the roof than to pack his big butt back home. And Jesus says, my God, these some radical folk. He say, thy faith, thy faith. Because you didn't let the crowd stop you. Thy faith. Because you look for a way to do it instead of looking at a way, a reason why you couldn't do it. He say, thy faith have made thee whole. Now let me tell you what's, what's around this. You don't, you don't see it. But deliverance is standing right here. Breakthrough is standing right here. You planned it, Robert, but but I need you to see it. He thought you was to die for? Why would he die for you and not want to deliver you and not want to bless you and not want you to have a breakthrough and not want you to be healed and not want you to be free? That's a wasted death. And the good thing about it, he didn't just die for me. He died for all us, y'all. Listen, listen, listen. The day is a the day is a the day is a new day. <laughs> the day is a new day. You know why it's a new day? Because God started beginnings when He get rid of old endings, and God have gotten rid of a lot of stuff today. And because God have got a lot of stuff today, I said to Crystal the other day on the phone, there's a whole lot of folk here, but you ain't connected. You just here. You just come here, but you ain't connected. You ain't, you ain't involved. You ain't pouring your whole heart into it. Oh, but today is a new day. No, this ain't no sermon. This a message of this this service started out as a service of deliverance and breakthrough and blessings. And that's exactly what it is. This ain't no church service stuff. This stuff. Can you smell that? You smell that? Huh? How can you smell how can you smell this cologne? And that cologne is at my house on the counter. Your nose ain't that strong. That's what I'm trying to tell you. When you get that aroma on you, it goes with you. 
with you everywhere you go. Wherever you go, you take that aroma with you. And you got to understand that, that when you go to a place and you got blessings on you, forget about the place. That ain't got nothing to do with me. If everybody live on that street broke, that ain't got nothing to do with me. If everybody losing their job out here, that ain't got nothing to do with me. Because I got the rumor on me. Because if I don't get a job, if I leave a job, I go somewhere looking for a job. They might not be hired, but they're going to hire today. Tell somebody, it's, it's, it's on, baby. Hug somebody, tell them, it's on like Donkey Kong. Praise his name. Praise his name. Praise his name. 